So let me give you a quick recap of what we've done so far. Our aim is to work out the circumference of this ellipse. So the circumference is given by 4b times this thing here. Well, this thing here is the integral here. But the thing is, we don't know how to integrate this. So we need to turn it into, into a series. And then from the series, we would integrate each individual term of that series. That, that, so our aim is to get from here to, uh, to here. So that's our aim. Our aim is to get from here to uh, to here because the minute the minute we uh, the minute we know the minute we know this we can put it into here and then just times b and times four that will then give us a circumference of the ellipse. So our so remember our aim is to get from here to here and then we can we we, we can work out the circumference of the ellipse. So um, so 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 we don't have to integrate this. Uh, we would then use the uh, the binomial series, turn this into um, into a series, and then it was blah blah blah, and we've done all this. So um, so we've done all this. It was blah blah blah, and then we got to um, we got to we got to this stage here, and then we uh, we we still need to to um, to be able to integrate uh, sine to the power of whatever, and then we went away for several videos to understand the reduction formula. Now that we've now that we've understand the reduction formula, we can go back to here and then evaluate this component here. Okay, so so um, many videos ago, we got to this stage here. We got to this stage here. We then went away for several videos to understand the reduction formula uh, because we needed to uh, to integrate this. Uh, and now that we we understand the the reduction formula, we can go back and uh, and evaluate this. So our aim is to evaluate this now. So, uh, hang on, let me think. Uh, we we are trying to understand this comp this block here. Uh, let's let's just look at at a case when n equals three. So when n equals three, we are trying to integrate uh, sine to the power of six. So sine to the power of six. Let's just try and look at this one specific example, and then and then later on we can extend it to sine uh, to the power of eight uh, t, and then sine to the power of ten, and then Sine to the power of infinity, all the way to infinity. So, so let's just look at the uh, the specific case of when n equals three. That will then give us an understanding, and then later on we can extend it. So let's just look at this one specific case. So n n is six. N is six. Uh, well, n is three. But then when when you use the reduction formula, um, it is six. So let's let's use the reduction formula. So 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 uh, so this n here is six. So the reduction formula would be uh, 6 take away 1, that would be to the power of 5. Uh, cos stays intact, cos stays intact, divided by, by, by 6. And then, uh, and, then, uh, and then this would be uh, 6 minus 1, which would be 5, over 6. And then the integral, uh, it would be 6 take away 2, so, so that would be 4, and so on. That would then give us this. The thing is, when, when, you, when you evaluate it, uh, from from zero to two pi, this thing here, can, this thing here will become zero because uh, put put this into here, put this into here. Well, um, cos cos looks like this. Uh, so this is uh, two pi. So this is pi here. So uh, pi pi by two would be zero. So so when you put this into here, cos of cos of uh, cos of pi over two. Will be zero. This block here will be zero. Uh, so the whole thing here will be zero. When you put this into well, when when you evaluate it from zero to two pi, it will be um, this whole block here will be zero. So it disappears. That will then leave you with just this. That will then just leave you with this. So now we need to uh, now we need to integrate sine to the power of four. So reduction formula again on on sine to the power of four. So um, so let's leave this out here and concentrate on this. Well, co concentrating on this will then give us this whole thing here. Uh, and then again, when so 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 we we've applied the uh, the reduction formula to take us to uh, to here. Okay. So so uh, if you evaluate it again, if you evaluate it from zero um, to pi by two, this whole thing here would disappear. It would be zero. So uh, so now that would this whole thing here disappears. So that would just leave us this times this thing here. Okay, so that would then give us uh, that would then give us 
uh, 5 over 6, 5 over 6, this thing here, and now we just need to um, to in integrate this, integrate sine, uh, well, this block here, now this block here then becomes this. If you, if you apply the reduction formula again on sine squared, that will then give us this. Um, uh, and then, and then, yeah, think, think about it. We, we've done this uh, in some of the early videos. Well, applying the reduction formula, that will then give us this. And then uh, now, this thing here will disappear because you're, you're evalu when you evaluate it from 0 to pi by 2, this thing will disappear. Uh, sine to the power of 0 will, will, will be 1, will always be 1. So when you integrate this, it will just be, it will just be t. It will just be t. And then, uh, and then now let me think. So, so this thing here will then be this. This thing here will then be this. Um, this will then be this. When you evaluate it, that will then give you pi by two. So that will then give you uh, pi over two. So, so after all that, when you when you integrate sine to the power of six, that will then give you this. Now extend the pattern. Extend the pattern. So to the power of eight would then give you this. To the power of ten would then give you this, and you can go if you want to all the way to infinity. So when you when you integrate this, when you when you, when you well right from the start of the vi video we were trying to to uh, to integrate this, but we don't know how to do it. So it was blah blah blah, and then we got to this stage here, and then uh, and then we we needed to go away to look at uh, the reduction formula in order to do this. Well, this block here now becomes. So we'll, we'll then become uh, we'll then become this because this whole thing here, this whole thing here is this thing here. Okay, so so uh, so using the reduction formula that will then take us to uh, to here. So now um, now let me think. Now um, now let me think. Um, now let me, okay. So so you've got your summation here, and then n is moving from from 1 to infinity. So it is the n that's moving about. Uh, this block here contains n and that's moving about. This block here contains n, it's moving about. This block here contains n and n is moving about. This thing here doesn't contain n. So you can actually take it out here. So that will then give us this. So now uh, now I'm just, you see this thing here is very similar to this. I'm just, here you're going uh, from 1, uh, you, 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 you're, you're increasing. Here you're decreasing. I'm just going to switch it around. So now I'm increasing. I'm increasing because it's one, three, five, seven, nine. This is seven, five, three. And it's going down. Well, I'm just reversing the order. So so it's going up. Uh, and then hang on, let me think. Um, and then this thing here is very very similar to this. Uh, it's, it's just that this thing here is one less than this. It's like me giving you this. Hang on. Just bear in mind that. Um, this numerator is one more than this one here because here you've got n minus uh, one, two n minus one, and here you've got two n minus three. So what you've got here is is similar to something like this: one, three, seven, uh, five, seven, nine, and here you've got one one more than this. So here you've got one, three, um, one, three, five, seven, nine, and then an extra, an extra one here. So, so the aim here is because I want to merge these two together because they're very similar. I'm just going to do this later on. I'm just going to times by eleven and then divide by eleven. So that would then, uh, but but then yeah. So that 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 because because these two are very similar. I'm trying to merge these two together. So uh, so I'm going to add. So so this is two n minus three. This is two n minus three, and then I'm going to add an extra term. Uh, 2n minus 1, but then I'll, I'll immediately divide it by 2n minus 1. So, so this is exactly the same as this. Oh, by the way, and also, by the way, this thing here becomes this thing here. Because if, if you look at when n equals, let n equals 5. So here you've got, uh, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 5 times. Here you've got, uh, 5, 4, 3, uh, uh, 3, uh, 2, 1. And then here you've got, uh, th don't forget here you've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. L l l look at this. 2, uh, 4, uh, 6, 8, 
10. The point is that uh, this is exactly the same as this. Okay, that. So from here, that will then take us to here. I will, I will continue in the, in the next video. So we are currently here. Okay. Uh, yeah, we are currently here. Okay.